Welcome to the opening concert of this season's New Music New Haven series, coming to you locally and around the world from the Yale School of Music. I'm Aaron J. Kernis, the series director. Each year, the school presents six concerts of music by the extraordinary bunch of Yale's graduate composition students. There are three concerts in the fall and three in the spring. As a consequence of the pandemic, rather than being broadcast live entirely from the stage of Morse Recital Hall, this season's concerts feature performances recorded remotely and safely, both at Yale spaces and from performers' homes and other locations around the world. This evening's videos come from New Haven, Iowa City, British Columbia, and Australia. Tonight's five works feature Yale's second year and doctoral students, Linda Dallimore, Francis Pollock, Joel Thompson, Sumin Kim, and Samantha Wolf. Each composer will briefly introduce their work. The remaining fall concerts will be streamed on November 6th and at a later date to be announced. I want to especially thank Jeff Mystery, Matt Lefevre, Ben Schwartz, Katie Kelly, the entire composition faculty, the composers, performers, and Dean Robert Blocker and Deputy Dean Melvin Chen for their support of the series. And now, on to the composers and their very new pieces. Hi, my name is Frances Pollock, and you are about to um, listen to three selections from my song cycle, Inner Silences. Inner Silences was commissioned by the Chautauqua Opera Company in the summer of, two, of 2020 when their programming uh, went online. Um, I was supposed to be the composer in residence, and I suggested that we do something with the artists in residence um, that were supposed to be all gathered um, in upstate New York as part of the Chautauqua Summer Festival. Um, the artistic director, uh, Stephen Osgood, brought on board uh, the incomparable Jerry Dye, who um, interviewed uh, all 20 singers and created texts based on their experiences um, going through this time of pandemic. Um, I then composed music and we gave the music back to the singers and they performed um, a song based on the summation of their experience. The whole set is um, incredibly moving and incredibly personal and it has been one of the artistic highlights for me um, from the past uh, seven months. So um, I hope you enjoy these three, th three selections from In Our Silences. It's 7 p.m. Listen. I moved here during all of this. I caught it, had it, made it through. No, no. Dissertation headline breadline open up the privileged fled so many dead and people clapping, people clapping, people clapping less and less. A lot of people need a win. We need a win. We need a win. Towards me be answers close. 
We play games on Saturday I try my best to find my way oh, Through open-ended cancellations Such as, who are you now? Lily, I sure do miss the world, the plans we made, you do too, but I'm so glad I'm here with you, your glittering intelligence, your gorgeousness. Your drive, your voice, it's
it's clear to me you had a choice. I'm so glad you chose me. Lily, my Dorothy, my breath, my friend. One day all this waiting ends until then. Lily, Lily, Lily. Hello, my name is Joel Thompson, and I'm the composer of My Dungeon Shook, Three American Preludes for Piano. Uh, the title is borrowed from the first essay in James Baldwin's book, The Fire Next Time, which itself is a borrowing from a line um, of a spiritual made famous by Dr. King, uh, Free at Last. And this piece, uh, like the Baldwin essay, is really a reflection on issues of identity and culture and the cognitive dissonance that arises between the ideals of this country and the reality of our country and our reflection of my experience in this devastating summer of 2020. Uh, the first prelude is titled Totentanz and it is a macabre dance of death filled with the frustration and anger um, that I felt. Uh, the second movement, Lacrimosa, is focused on the grief and pain and sense of loss that permeated the summer as well. And the last prelude is um, a sort of sardonic reharmonization of a popular tune. It is played beautifully by um, my friend and colleague, Benjamin Hopkins, a pianist at the University of British Columbia. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Linda Dallimore, a composer in my second year of a Master of Musical Arts here at Yale. You're about to hear the wonderful trumpeter Connor Holland performing a solo work entitled Past, that's P-A-R-S-E-D, meaning something that has been critically analysed. This piece first premiered on a New Music New Haven concert in Connecticut last spring while we were still in lockdown. This is an updated, refined version we've been able to step into the studio and professionally record. So you'll hear two characters in this piece. One is a muted character. They're distracted, anxious, and edgy. The second character is a little unhinged. They've spent way too many days in a row inside. Perhaps you can relate. I know I certainly can. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name is Sumin Kim. I'm a composer from Korea and I'm currently in my second year of masters at the Yale School of Music. I wrote this piece called The Weight of Wind for my good friends Emilia and Eleni, and the two of them have recently formed an ensemble called Maria Dio. They're a very unique ensemble because they seek to combine two different art forms that they're very passionate about, which are double replaying and singing. So it was a very fun experience for me to write this piece because I got to explore th those two different sounds and juxtapose them. Um, with this piece, I wanted to capture various motions of wind, so you'll hear some fast sections with a steady eighth note pulse, um, and also some slower sections with more lyrical gesture. Um, and at the very end, I tried to mimic the sound of wind chimes sort of swaying in the wind with the piano and the two voices. Thank you very much for listening.
Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Wolf and I'm the composer of the next piece. By now, we're all probably familiar with some of the weird and wonderful sounds that can be created by Zoom feedback loops. The garbled echoes, soupy reverb, wailing distortion, and rhythmic clicking that can happen when you accidentally leave a microphone or speaker on. I've always found feedback really musical and I'm intrigued by the newfound ubiquity of these glitchy sounds in our current virtually driven lives. Vox Machina is my attempt to uncover and play with the strange and somewhat unwieldy new instrument that is Zoom feedback. What makes it tick? Can it be taught to sing? Does it play well with others? Let's see. Special thanks to my incredible musicians, Deborah Kaiser and Ryan Williams, and to Elision for commissioning this piece as a part of their virtual four bar series. Please enjoy Vox Machina.
Step 1. Assemble devices. Step 2. Device activation. Step 3. Software activation. Step 4. Tactile Dysfunction Step 5. Respiration. Step 6. Join. Step 7. Salutations. Uh, hi, mate. Hi. How's it going? Oh, what? Hi. You can't hi. hear me. Hi. I think I can hear you. Hi. You can't hear me? Hi. Oh. Hi. How about now? Hi. 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 How about now? Hi. Hi. Step 8. Troubleshooting. How about now? Again, again. Oh, 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 o
Start, 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 again, 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 start, 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 again, again, start, 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 I forgot to name myself. <laughs> Sorry. Step nine. Content delivery. Well, I don't know. Optional steps. We should be Participation. more careful about those kinds. Of... Libation. Ingestion. Uh, generalization. No, it's inherently problematic to clandestine communication extrapolate one specific scenario lacrimation and apply it indiscriminately so callously and callously Seems irresponsible and lacks nuance. Step 10. Distraction. Step 11. Existential crisis. 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 People. Patchwork. Assets sharing. Child care. Insurance claims. Step 12. Valediction. Step 13. Termination. Step 14. 
Step 14. The Abyss.